The Mirage 2000 is now too close to retirement. Still, it is waiting ready to fight in the hottest spots in the world. During the 1980s and 1990s, this remarkable combat jet had been a true defiance against the dominance of the F-16 in the West. Today, we are investigating the Mirage 2000, the last king of the French Mirage dynasty. The Mirage 2000 is one of the best 4th generation fighters. This aircraft has successfully fought in many parts of the world. The events that paved the way for the development of the Mirage 2000 go back to the mid-1960s. The Brits and French decided to develop a swing-wing aircraft jointly in 1965. As usual, France left the program two years later and chose to proceed alone. Dassault began to work on its own variable geometry aircraft, the Mirage G. Yet, it was a complex and expensive jet. So, in 1972, the company also rolled out a secondary program for a simple and a low-cost aircraft called Mirage 1000. It was a wise decision. The French Air Force was not keen to acquire the high-cost Mirage G. Also, the possible foreign customers were not interested in buying it either. So, France, which needed a more affordable fighter for both domestic and foreign markets, terminated the Mirage G program in 1975 and decided to give a chance to the redesigned variant of the Mirage 1000, the Mirage 2000. The same year, Paris ordered three prototypes. The first of them, a single-seat variant, made its maiden flight on March 10, 1978. The two-seat prototype met the skies on October 11, 1980. The SU produced an additional fourth single-seat demonstrator that embodied lessons from the earlier aircraft. The fourth prototype had a shorter fin with an increased sweep, redesigned air inlets and a fly-by-wire flight system. After the successful trials, Dassault delivered the first Mirage 2000C to the French Air Force in 1983. The Mirage 2000 highly resembles to its ancestor, the Mirage 3, but there are many changes in details between the two aircraft. The wing-leading edge sweep is reduced from 60 degrees to 58 degrees. The pilot controls the aerodynamically unstable Mirage 2000 via a fly-by-wire flight system. The elevons have carbon fiber skins. Also, carbon fiber and light alloy honeycomb panel covers the avionic bay. Most parts of the fin and all parts of rudders are skinned with boron, epoxy and carbon. This early example of composite materials used on a fighter jet has reduced the weight. The small streaks of intake ducts create vortices at the high angle of attack that helps correct yaw excursion, which makes the Mirage 2000 a highly agile fighter. Thanks to its fly-by-wire flight control system and aerodynamically unstable design, the Mirage 2000 can raise its nose even if the elevon is lowered. So its speed and distance of taking off and landing are much shorter than the previous Delta Wing Mirage 3 and Mirage 50. The initial production variant of the aircraft is the Mirage 2000C. The first 37 aircraft had the RDM with the engagement capability to both ground and air targets. Its ground attack capability was still low compared to modern multi-role fighters. They also had the Sinigma M53-5 turbofan engine. The later Mirage 2000Cs were fitted with the RDI radar and an upgraded Sinigma M53-P2 turbofan engine. The two-seat operational conversion trainer variant of the aircraft is Mirage 2000B. A single Mirage 2000B was modified as an electro-optic testbed and named Mirage 2000BOB. The prototype of the Mirage 2000-5 made its maiden flight on November 24, 1990. This variant, referred as the second generation, has a Thales-made laser electro-optical targeting system, Doppler radar that can engage multiple targets, digital displays suitable for night operations, and a hands-on throttle and stick flight control stick. The Taiwanese Air Force became the first customer of the Mirage 2000-5 in November 1992. These aircraft with no ground attack capability have the single-seat Mirage 2000 EI and the two-seat Mirage 2000 DI variants. France upgraded 37 Mirage 2000 Cs to 2000-5 standards and renamed them as Mirage 2000-5F. The Mirage 2000-5 Mark II, equipped with the Democles targeting system and the RDY-2 synthetic aperture radar, has significantly increased its attack capability against ground targets. It is referred to as the third generation. The Mirage 2000-5 Mark II can also fire the Mika-EM fire and forget air-to-air -air missiles. 
The Egyptian single seat Mirage 2000 EMs and the two seat Mirage 2000 BMs and the Peruvian single seat Mirage 2000 Ps and the two seat Mirage 2000 DPs have the same capabilities as the C and B variants. Similarly, the capacities of the original production variants for India, the single seat Mirage 2000 H and the two seat Mirage 2000 TH were the same as the C and B. Later, these aircraft were upgraded to Mirage 2000-5 Mark II level and renamed as Mirage 2000i and Mirage 2000ti. The Indian jets also have helmet-mounted displays, the lightning laser designator pods, and the firing capability of Aster and R-73 air-to-air -air missile, whose NATO reporting name is A-11 Archer. Also, the single-seat Mirage 2000 EGs and the two-seat Mirage 2000 BGs of the Hellenic Air Force had the same capabilities as the C and B variants. Later, these aircraft were upgraded with updated sensors and avionics, and they gained the firing capability for the AM-39 Exoze anti-ship and more modern air-to-air -air missiles. After that, they were renamed as Mirage 2000 EGM. But later, Greece modernized 10 of them one more time and upgraded the aircraft to Mirage 2000-5 Mark II level. The Hellenic Air Force also acquired 15 new-built Mark IIs. The Greek Mirage 2000 can also fire the Scalp cruise missiles. The single-seat Mirage 2000 EDAs and the two-seat Mirage 2000 DDAs were the Qatari variants of the Mirage 2000-5. The air wing of Abu Dhabi Defense Force, which became the United Arab Emirates Air Force in 1999, ordered 36 Mirage 2000s in 1983. These aircraft are defined as Mirage 2000-8. Eight of them, called Mirage 2000 RAD, are the only reconnaissance variant of the Mirage 2000. The Mirage 2000 AED was a single seat and the Mirage 2000 DAD was a two seat model. In 1998, the United Arab Emirates ordered 30 new Mirage 2000-9 variants and decided to upgrade 33 of the surviving previous aircraft. The Mirage 2000-9s are equipped with Shihab laser targeting pod, a variant of Democles and Nahar navigation pod complementing the air-to-ground modes of the RDY-2 radar. They can fire the Black Shaheen cruise missile, a variant of the MBDA Apache. On February 26, 2020, the United Arab Emirates ordered the Sniper XP targeting pods for its aircraft. The Mirage 2000N was developed to replace the Mirage 4 nuclear bombers. It made its maiden flight on February 3, 1983. All Mirage 2000Ns were retired or converted to the D variant. The Mirage 2000D, which made its maiden flight on February 19, 1991, is a dedicated conventional attack variant. Thanks to its Anatolia 5 radar, which tracks terrain automatically, the aircraft can fly at low altitudes without the pilot's intervention. After the midlife upgrade, the Mirage 2000Ds have gained updated avionics and the capability of launching the Mika air-to-air -air missiles and modern guided air-to-ground munitions. They have also been fitted with the CC-422 gun pods. Unlike the other Mirage 2000s, the D variant has a top speed of Mach 1.6. The B, D and N variants have no internal cannon. Dassault also developed the Mirage 4000 as a private venture, which was simply a twin-engined and enlarged version of the Mirage 2000. But it was not chosen by any countries. Egypt, France, Greece, India, Peru, Taiwan and the United Arab Emirates are the current users of the Mirage 2000s. Brazil and Qatar retired the aircraft. The Mirage 2000-5 has a length of 14.33 meters, a wingspan of 9.13 meters and a height of 5.14 meters. Its wing area is 41 square meters. The aircraft's empty weight is 7,500 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight is 17,500 kilograms. One 95.1 kN Synecma M53 P2 afterburning turbofan engine provides a top speed of Mach 2.2. It can climb an altitude of over 18,290 meters, in other words, 60,000 feet. The aircraft's range is 3,333 kilometers. The Mirage 2000-5's combat radius is 1,480 kilometers. It has two 30mm DO5554 cannons and a capacity of 9.5 tons of ordnance under 9 pylons. The Mirage 2000-5 can carry the Mika and R550 Magic 2 air-to-air, AM-39 Exoze anti-ship and Scalp cruise missiles 
as well as different types of bombs. The French Mirage 2000 C served during the Gulf War. In 1995, during a bombing mission, a French Mirage 2000D was shot down over Bosnia by a 9K-38 IGLA shoulder-launched missile fired by air defense units of the Army of Republika Srpska. The French Mirage 2000s also fought in Afghanistan, Kosovo, Libya, Mali and Syria. The Indian Mirage 2000s fought in the Kargil War and the 2001-2002 India-Pakistan standoff. They performed well over the Himalayas and destroyed the Pakistani command bunkers with laser-guided bombs on many occasions. The Peruvian Mirage 2000s flew combat air patrol missions during the 1995 Senapa War. The Mirage 2000s of the United Arab Emirates fought in Libya, Syria and Yemen. One of them crashed in the southern Yemeni city of Aden. The Yemeni Al-Qaeda claims that it was shut down by a Strela 2 manpads, but the United Arab Emirates denies the claim. The Qatari Mirage 2000s also fought in Libya and Syria. However, the most sensational event was undoubtedly the downing of a Turkish F-16 by the Greek Mirage 2000 in 1996. Greece claims its airspace is 10 miles while its territorial waters are 6 miles. It is unusual because the country's airspace and territorial waters are generally the same. So, Turkey deliberately violated the 4-mile gap to show that they denied the Greek claims. But Greece declared the 10-mile airspace in the 1930s and Turkey had no objection until the late 1970s. Athens naturally does not accept that Ankara is changing its policy whenever it wants. We will not be the judge for this problem that no one has been able to solve for decades. We just mentioned the situation to explain what is behind the event better. In 1996, a Greek Mirage 2000 shut down one of two Turkish F-16Ds which flew or violated the 4-mile gap. Usually, the Greek and Turkish jet fighters had performed constant dogfights but never fired upon each other. The two most valid theories about this event are that the Greek pilot accidentally fired the missile in the excitement of the dogfight or lost control and deliberately shot the F-16 down. The second Turkish crew of the F-16D who survived the incident was later rescued by a Greek helicopter and treated in Greece. So the first theory looks more sensible as the Turkish crew later told the press that the Greek pilot visited him in the hospital and apologized. The Mirage 2000s are still waiting ready for possible clashes in the hottest regions like the Aegean Sea, the Taiwanese Strait and the India-Pakistan border. They are still fearsome opponents against their fourth generation rivals. This French Delta Wing beauty had been the biggest Western competitor of the F-16 in the international markets for nearly 20 years. Just like its ancestor, the Mirage 3, Mirage 5 and Mirage F-1, the Mirage 2000 is a true legend. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.